What's going on, Fort Worth family? It's the big boss, Fabo, the biggest boss of them all. RP Fredo, RP Nipsey, RP Pop, long live Jose, and RP to all the people we lost this year, last year, all that, man. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Much love, peace, love, and prosperity. We're back with a reaction video, man. So like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Fort Worth Fabian. We got the doors, Roadhouse Blues, baby. So yeah, I'm back with Jim Morrison. You know, I'm just playing. I'm back with the doors. Um, I just reacted to um, Riders on the Storm. Dope song. You know, this will be my third The Doors reaction. So guess what? Every time I do three uploads in a specific atmosphere, environment, subject matter, I create a playlist. So be sure to check out my Doors playlist listed in the description to this video you can check out other playlists as well just check out my playlist page man i got over 750 videos on this channel so there's a lot of content if you really care about my content i mean the content's all over the place too so that's why i suggest and recommend check out my playlist which is basically a library of what my stuff is and i still haven't i still haven't finished sorting all of the videos i've created since dating back since 2017. So I haven't filed them and organized them properly. But anyways, if you want the best navigation for any specific content on my channel, check out my playlist. With that being said, this is Riders on the Storm by The Doors. I really was interested and intrigued into Jim Morrison's writing style. Um, this ain't Riders, my dummy boy. This is Roadhouse Blues. This is Roadhouse Blues, RIP. Roadhouse Blues. And like I said, I was intrigued by the writing style. And I got a little glimpse into that on, um, the previous video I did, Riders on the Storm, right? So let's get into the video without further ado. Is that you, Jim Morrison? Is that you, Mr. Morrison? Sheesh. The way he came in was so smooth, but his tone sounded so much fiercer than, than the other record. You know what I mean? And this one's a little bit more smooth and subtle. It's like his voice is just crisp. You know what I mean? I don't know if the mixing was done different, but this essentially is um, the best, the very best of the doors, um, what I'm reacting to now. So there's various videos compiled of the very best. So these could actually be completely different times that he's recorded you know what i mean years down the line a bit so his style of sound he just sonically could have changed because this is more of like like it's a bluesy kind of song the band man like you know what i'm saying i never really heard this uh, this song is showing me they have versatility straight off the bat um but like i'm like i said i don't know when this specific record was recorded in relation to a specific album so what I'm saying is since this is a, a compilation album, you know, we could be getting different styles and sounds because this is just their best hits. Um, Jim Morrison was solely lead vocalist that he didn't play guitar or nothing like that. Let me know in the comment section below. I know he's the singer. Um, and then you had Ray Manzarek, the keyboardist, uh, John Densmore, the drummer, and then Robbie Krieger, the guitarist. Four members, four great solid members, but I'm curious, I'm sure Jim played an instrument, right? And that performance, I don't think he did. I don't think he had an instrument, I think about it. Well, anyways. Hey. Oh, come, 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 
He's speaking a whole different language now. Do you not hear him? I like that line. <coughs> Not the woke up this morning, got myself a beer part, you know, but the part that's finna come up. Futures are certain and the end is always near, foe. You know what I mean? Like, bro, you gotta know that. Your future is probably not undecided, but to you it's uncertain. It's not up to you, you know what I mean? And at any time it could be near. That's what you don't know. I like that, I like that, I like that. I wonder if um Jim Morrison limited the depth of his writing when it came to actual songs. Because if you start off as a poet, I'm sure he did some tweaking and adjusting, and you know, from switching to writing poetry to songwriting. Because there's, there's a certain depth and a certain symbolism that can come with poetry at times that could just easily fly over people's head. Um, so I feel like, you know, when you come from that realm, songwriting is so easy to me, honestly. Because songwriting doesn't necessarily, and let's 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 make this comparison. Rap for rapping, it's easy because rappers literally try to rhyme words together. Songwriting songs don't have to rhyme, but it do make them more catchy if you got bars or every line is rhyming to the next rhyme. So I feel like a lot of the ways he wrote, I really like his songwriting. He's not overthinking it. Very very just it just fits. You know what I mean. Well, like I said, if you come from that world to, to, to artistry and writing songs, I don't think it's too much of an adjustment. Let it roll, baby, roll. Let it roll, baby, roll. Let it roll, baby, roll. Let it roll. All night long. Mm. You gotta love that, man. You gotta love that creativity, that fun, man. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That was The Doors, Roadhouse Blues, man. Shout out The Doors, R.I.P. Jim Morrison. Are all the members still alive and well? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna look that up. I did see a picture on the Instagram where it's all of them grouped together. I don't know, man, but peace, love, prosperity to everybody, man. Peace, love, positivity. Let's get it. Catch you guys next time.